everyone! So today is very exciting because I've been waiting for this day to come since forever and today as you can see on the title, I'll be trying out different liquid lipstick from different brands locally made in Indonesia so it is very exciting because liquid lipstick is something that is very new to the market and it's great to see that my people start to take an interest on beauty community and they decided to make their own product and I couldn't wait to see how the product works and without further ado, let's start with the first liquid lipstick so for today's video, I got 5 liquid lipstick that I personally select because I want to see the variety, I want to see the differences so don't get me wrong, there's actually a lot of company in Indonesia that made liquid lipstick but these 5 are the ones that I found most interesting and I found that they could really represent Indonesia if that makes any sense so let's start with the first one we have this brand called Beauty Story this is an Indonesian company but they market themselves to be a, like Korean makeup product but that is interesting especially for me because I love Korean beauty so it says it's formulated in Korea but it's manufactured here in Jakarta, Indonesia this is the color that I got, this is called the Latte Please so this is how the packaging looks like the typical liquid lipstick kind of packaging it's slim and it has this frosty kind of plastic so the wand is pretty slim scent smells like vanilla and let's start to swatch it so this is the swatch on the back of my hand so it's quite pigmented with one swipe you can see it's quite opaque so let's start to swipe on the lips Hmm. Well, it glides pretty easily. And the scent is not very overpowering. This is how it looks like with just one coat. I think it did a pretty good job. This is not the color that I normally use, but I think it's pretty good especially if you're looking for a very nude color I think this is a very good nude to orange kind of color I personally not leaning towards orange tone lipsticks I am more of the red wine kind of color but now that I look in the mirror it's actually quite streaky and it's not even like it patches but on the camera itself it looks pretty good so I want to see how it looks after I double coat it still pretty blotchy I don't quite like it actually it's tricky it's not even and it actually exaggerate my fine line so I don't really like this so yeah I mean it's a pretty color and you can find this at local drugstore I'm going to link everything down below the prices and where you can find it online but yeah I don't really like this they have quite a range of color maybe the color pigmentation makes a difference but this one particularly which is the what are you latte please is a no please so the second brand that I want to talk about is this brand called Mineral Botanica this is a local brand as well I'm talking about the title itself already says that this is a local brand kind of video so this is the cheapest among the group for today's color I have the Choco Pumpkin they have quite a range of color as well so you will definitely find a color that you will like and I found this at my local supermarket so it's very convenient for you to find this because it is almost available everywhere now the typical short one the fragrance is very strong oh my god 
it's almost very perfumey and we have this latte please and I'm going to swatch it next to it well the color is surprisingly very opaque so let's try this thing out I really hate the scent I could really say that I really hate it because it is very powerful and I don't like it I always like to tone it down because the pigmentation is actually surprisingly very good now I don't know how I feel about this because it's still the orange tone but it's actually very good for the fall season it's very pumpkin-ish and I don't know, I really like it actually what do you guys think? and it fits my makeup today actually I mean the scent will wear off but the first time you apply it's very overpowering and it's different with the Kyla lip kit that I love because I love that vanilla scent although it's very strong but it's very pleasant for me personally but this is just very floral, very um, perfumey and I didn't prefer that so yeah but other than that it is a very pretty color the pigmentation is very good it's not streaky it's not bloody I'm very surprised because this is very cheap and this is like double the price but let's move on to the next brand so just now we are talking about brands that are mass produced that are available at local supermarkets but for now onwards we are going to talk about indie company or like a private company somewhat similar to Colourpop, Lime Crime or Glossier it is Indonesian owned indie brand that Personally, I am very attracted of because I want to see what kind of things that they could make So we are going to start with this brand called Polka Cosmetic. Look at the packaging. It is very lovely Actually, I saw their brand at one supermarket near my house. So For now, I could say that they are available at selected markets, but not all and they are able to ship internationally so if this thing good wherever you are you could definitely get this I have in the color Maricas and I personally really like the color I'm going to swatch it again on the back of my hand first it doesn't really smell like anything why do I feel that this is a bit shorter Now this is how the color looks like. It, it feels like a family now that I swatch it. I mean the pigmentation on the back of my hand is quite good. And I don't know whether it's streaky or not so let's just start to swatch on my lips. Maybe because I just swatched a very orange kind of tune, it somehow stained my lips. But the color here is actually quite pinkish. I don't know why the color came out like this. It's not blotchy and it glides pretty easily. Now the weird thing is, this is supposed to be a madness liquid lipstick. But it actually feels sticky. It reminds me of the LA Girl liquid lipsticks. I personally don't find this kind of formula because I don't like that sticky feelings if I have to prefer I would choose the mineral botanica because first of all it's cheaper and although it smells really perfumey while well, this one is don't this formula is actually much better because it will set and it doesn't leave you with this sticky texture that I don't like so yeah I'm sorry really sorry polka Although the packaging is quite cute and it's very simple But I don't know if I have to choose I would choose this over you because of the formula Now the last two products is actually personally my favorite Now this 
is a very cute packaging this is called roll over your action I personally really adore this and I'm actually waiting so much for this and the next one is this one called BLP Beauty this is actually made by an Indonesian youtuber called Lizzy Para I hope I pronounced your name right this liquid lipstick is like Indonesian own Kylie lip kit because it sold out very easily I only managed to get one color and I personally want to buy five or her colors so I think in terms of trying out I really want to save BLP for the last because I don't know I'm just waiting for it because all the hype and everything but rollover reaction is a bit darker color so I am quite confused now I think I'm going to try the rollover reaction first now look at how pretty they package everything it's like they really put effort on packaging everything now I have the color called Maxwell I think it is um, their newest shade I know by the time you watch this they already launched three more shades which is very exciting so check them out now this Maxwell color it I mean look at the packaging it really reminds me of lime crime with all of this flower packaging oh my god now I really like their packaging they are different they are not in the cylindrical form they are in this square form and I think it levels up the exclusiveness and especially the frosty part I think it just makes everything looks different I don't like the sticker by the way it looks a bit cheap it smells a bit like vanilla and comparing to the rest this has more of like creamy texture while the other is a bit liquidy the swatch it next to the polka oh my god look at that pigmentation comparing it to the polka this is by far the most opaque one it smells a bit like buttercreams on cupcake so let's watch this out Oh my god, I really love this, although I just made a heart. I personally really love this. I think this is the best among all the four that I tried out. It glides beautifully, it doesn't smell, it's pigmented, and the color is personally I really love I really love this very red plummy kind of color I think it's perfect for this kind of weather which is much colder although I lied a bit about it because I live in Indonesia and it's hot every time so yeah I'm really happy with it I think it's very beautiful and I personally really like this plummy color I think it really suits me I think the color looks a bit brighter on the camera but on the real life it is a very it is quite dark and I think it's perfect for night out and I personally really like this now usually on my first impression I will see how many hours they last but unfortunately for this one I couldn't really do that did I stay much something because look at the swatch here but I will give you like a legit first impression about how this thing works and if it's possible, I'm going to put blog posts on each of this and see how they wear throughout the day. Now let's open this thing up. It is very exciting. For the record, I've been waiting for this since it sold out. And it's been sold out since forever. It's It's been a long time since they actually restocked it. Packaging is very lovely. It's very Pantone-ish. This is called Lip Coat by Lizzie Para. Still, I hope I pronounced your name right. I got the color Peppermint Pink. I personally really like the butter fudge, but by the time I want to buy this, it's already sold out. Now, the packaging is a 
freaking winner for me is either the rollover or the BLT. This will look super pretty on the vanity. Now I'm going to open this. Now it really smells very sweet, very vanilla-ish. The really reminds me of the Kylie lip kit. I'm going to swatch it next to the rollover. Now both rollover reaction and the BLP Beauty has the same creamy texture, almost like a buttercream. You can see it's very pigmented. Okay, I don't know why, but I had lost control with the wand. I think this, hmm, but I'm not sure about that. I think this is great it is a bit patchy on this side it has the similar sticky texture now the color itself it almost beat my love for the nyx soft liquid cream soft lip cream in stockholm i forgot uh what does it call but you know the small one it almost similar and it is in liquid lipstick form now that i leave it to set it doesn't feel that sticky anymore comparing to the polka one and i actually really like it aside from it being a bit patchy hmm, now that i do this kind of motion the patchiness seems to go on i don't know where does it go i really like it but actually to be really really honest actually prefer the rollover reaction over this this is just such a winner the scent it doesn't smell like anything the first time I apply this this is just a winner I think it's just the color I think that make this one a winner because it's towards my preference but in terms of formula itself I really like this as well it sets beautifully glides beautifully now that is it for what i have for today i am very pleased that indonesia have these babies now but if i have to choose winner definitely will be the rollover reaction i think the packaging win the formula wins the pigmentation wins so overall this is a winner for me and i would definitely recommend this and it's not as hard to find as the BLP one because this one you really need to wait for it to restock and everything and that is it for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please please do enjoy my circle of friends and i'll see you guys real real soon bye